Hi. I would Hello. like you to design Netflix service. Netflix. Okay. Uh, so let's start with some functional requirements based on like it, it will have trending it will have different suggestions like trending trending and personalized based on history and search is search so i would say it's okay for the system to be eventually consistent like if a video has been added it's okay if it doesn't show up in search for example immediately or if it doesn't show up in the home page immediately it can take some time to appear but there do you think that the eventual consist consistency will be applicable to the whole netflix system or maybe different components may have different consistency yeah so yeah. and there's sure. one more thing uh, uh what about user sessions watch sessions let's say a user is watching a movie on one device okay and then he switched to another device ha huh. so the current session the current current playing or currently watching kind of a thing and uh, yes. if a video is stopped there okay mm -hmm. so sure so user sessions is one estimation yeah. okay but how just give give me an idea like how we will be making them scalable especially the netflix case how we actually make it scalable and highly so, available um so when clients are when when let's say a user is watching a video on on a client let's say laptop or or a t let's say a tv now since the video can be too big so the client won't download the whole video at once uh, it's not it's not needed what instead the client can do is watch the is is fetch the chunks of the videos and that's how the videos will also be stored in chunks so the client knows that now the for example the user started watching so fetch for example first two chunks and when reader has user has watched the let's say half of the second chunk then the client will request next two chunks okay yeah then, but one option could be if if it sees that a large number of users have requesting for a video and it's not in the cdn then it will also make a pull request to get that video on the cdn and then home page would be generated based on the trending video watch list and personal history watch history of the user okay let's discuss the internal of the watch list service okay so for the watch list service uh, let me draw a double click diagram of the watch list okay so it's so this is more of a front door actually to right okay. there yeah or okay. a gateway yeah but how yeah but you gave it a name load balancer how the load balancer actually redirects to any region and even then why even would you need to do that so um so i would have different replicas of this system in different regions yeah okay yes and the client would connect to my central uh, central url like it would not connect to a regional url and then so when the request gets to this public so let's say this is a let's not call it this is a component a public component right for the just for the sake of discussion mm -hmm. if it if it so this is the this endpoint is exposed to the client okay. i mean right now if if, if you say mm -hmm. that the client connection is always established with the public component in us mm -hmm. and this mm -hmm. one is responsible for routing the request to let's say your mm -hmm. right? it's like every so it's like one more hop you right there yeah, because yeah client yeah. will always go to the public component right. in us and us will then send it back to i want to yeah. see how the watch list service is implemented okay so uh, i have different app servers here okay and then uh, i need to store this data so this what is this data let's let's first see so we need to store it in a, a db so this is the time stamp where the current at the where the uh, user is watching that chunk of the video that uh, time stamp in the video and the time stamp this request was sent 
Okay, how often this needs to be? So let's say, uh, I mean, every few seconds. So clients can, from a, if I'm viewing a video, if I want to be, uh, uh, let's say the last update was, if the last update was maybe 10 seconds ago or 15 seconds ago, it's okay. I just need to watch the, I, I will watch that those 15 seconds again. Uh, so how you will you scale this, this service? The watch this service? Um, so now lots of, yeah, so lots of users can be watching this video. So we need this, like I, I would say we need a more available system here, available and partition tolerant. So we are looking for an AP system, APDB here. Okay. So uh, as you said, we would be using NoSQL and we'll uh -huh. be partitioning it. Of course, what would be the partitioning key that we could use? What are the different approaches uh, that we can use to partition this? Yeah, yeah. so uh, then, yeah, that is one partitioning scheme. And then it could suffer from if a user is watching a lot of videos and so, or if a user is logged in and if a user is also logged into a lot of devices at the same time, then a few partitions can be, uh, can get more traffic than other partitions. So in the first approach, I was uh, uh, creating one partition for one user. And in this case, for one user. Yeah. So, so if the Netflix service has 500 million users, you will create 500 million partitions. In this but case, I think range based partitioning is also kind of random. And and we can use that as well. Uh, but it's just that hash based partitioning is completely random and that is the best thing to go. But range based partitioning is also like is similar in this case. So one question is that now you are saying that this user, every user who's watching a video mm -hmm. will be every 15 seconds hitting this database and will yeah. be creating it. Yeah, so it's right heavy. So it's a right heavy system. It's a right heavy system. Yeah. Okay. So how actually we can scale? We, okay. We, you said we introduced partitions. What else can we do? Yeah. So mm -hmm. because I do think we won't be able to store everything in Redis because of the sheer size of, of this data. Okay. So, uh, once, uh, once one way to expire a document, one way is to set expiry on a, um, on a record. Yeah. Okay. But that would be, that would be the overall architecture of the uh, user current watch list. So yeah. okay. and I would also draw uh, in memory store here. Okay. Let's go now into the trending video service. Let's see how you will design this trending video service. So for a trending video. So whenever a user is watching something, so everything rating, watch list search so all of them can um, attribute to a video being trending okay. yeah i mean all of these services can publish an event to kafka uh, to a kafka component and the trending video can listen on that and then it can uh, do further processing on on all those events okay. so what these so, okay so which type of data store is yeah. Such system. So again, it's a write heavy, it's, it's similar. It's AP system that we need there. Mm -hmm. uh, it would just write those events here. And then there will, there will be models, some ML models that will run on this data. Okay. So my architecture would be, I will just accept the event, write it, and then I'll process it later. Okay. So right now, yeah. but it was okay. It was uh, like, Kafka was also storing the, the, this information. So Kafka re, re, re deletes the event as soon as the event is received by the, uh, subscribe by the subscriber. Okay. So it what won't, it won't hold the event anymore. Mm -hmm. But what is the need to store the, this information? I mean, it will so, be for the trending videos and trending videos will be changing over time. Right. So the thing is, if so, we store this information for some time, 
and then the trending the ml models will run on this information and then once and it can keep a preview so it will for each video it can keep id and uh, preview so it may not be in the it, it doesn't need to sit in the db we can use a very well use a in memory store to just keep a list because it's very less data but let's talk a global go a little bit dig deeper into this thing that how actually from the actions you will determine the trending videos or the, how will you come up with a list of trending videos so for this i will need to so this so is i'm trying to understand how what is this model thing you said it will go to a model what so is it's a model? machine learned model um it's, it's some but so, where it is running it's running on a single machine it's running on multiple uh, machines. yeah like so that it? needs to run on on these app servers that i have which is okay so i can talk a little bit internal details about the model so one one type of machine learned model model would be like a tree job and so and i can pick one server that does the job and others don't need to do it okay, but then in that case the generation of a trending, trending videos will be delayed by a day now that you will see a user will only see a trending videos based on the result yeah, of I mean, right so 